Yo, 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 what it do? It's your new host, Mike, a.k.a. No Face, No Case. I currently don't know why these two Negroes are laughing. I don't know why. But let's get it going. We got some new topics. We listened to your feedback. And yeah, we didn't take anything into the feedback, not gonna lie. A.k.a. what Greg said. But yeah, so introduce yourself. Yeah, it's your former host, Greg. We gave it to Mike because this nigga was literally doing nothing, so he needed a role. In fact, he literally stole my whole introduction. <laughs> But, you know, I'm going to pass the mic to Sam. Because I got nothing to say. Mike always took it from my words. Yo, what's up? It's Sam. You know, we do this shit every day. Not actually every day. But you know what we do. We're working every day. We will be working on this shit every day. We put in work for you guys. Like, trust me. I need to appreciate the effort. I need to see <laughs> those views go up. I need to see that that length of watch go up. Don't like, just watch 30 seconds, yo, two yeah. minutes. Watch like, yo, don't even, you don't even have to watch it, guys. All you have to do is just leave it on in the background, you know what I'm saying? Turn the volume down, just let that shit run. Please, yo, we need... <laughs> you trying to get off our feet, yo. Help us out, yo. For real. Yo, he's calling as he's saying right now. This nigga... But nah, this but... Nah, for real, though, like... Hold on, wait. But yeah, but hold on. But like, we actually see like you y'all watching like two minutes and then you guys just leave. Like, but like, drop feedback in the comments. Like, oh, are we boring? What do we need to improve? Well, what is it? But hold on. Shout out to our top viewer, our best supporter, Henny Demix. Like, he be in the comments and he actually be sending Brandon shit. Like, he watches the service. Yeah, um, yo, you know it's me. You know. Yo, this nigga fiend for that shit. <laughs> like, he came in. Yo, here's him. Hey, yo, you know it's me. Your boy Kendrick's in turn. All right, guys. So today, our first topic, we're discussing our NBA top 10 list. Niggas have been waiting, salvaging for this shit, including yeah. KD and yeah. Stephen including Curry. All injured players. Including yeah. all injured Wait. players. Actually, but hold on. But, um, wait, so let's go off, like, the last year and, like, out of injuries. Shut the yeah. fuck Wait, up. What? Uh, Greg, no, Greg, give the context. Of all Greg. right. So the context is we're basing them off the last time we've seen them. So pre-KD Achilles... Pre Steph Curry hand injury, all that we're basing it off that. So it would also include, you know, if you've seen from Luca this year. All right, so who wants to start us off? I think we should all start with the Yeah, I'm yeah, asking who gonna go who's gonna off? start off. Are we gonna do it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, from ten to one. Okay. All right, let's let's let Sam start. Okay. Yeah, go. <clears throat> um, my number ten, up. my number ten is Joel Embiid. Mm, that's exactly that's exactly what I got. I got to tell you. Wait, you have Joel on your no, list I don't have Joel on my list at all. Joel. Hold on, just one second. Can you let Sam finish the list? That's the way it's gonna go. Wait, wait, wait no, wait, I thought we were gonna do ten and it's nine. Yeah. That would make sense, but currently, due to our current situation, it makes far more sense for me to hold the microphone in front of Sam than it does for me to switch it around. Yeah, true. And, and wait, and also bring more college and see if you can listen to this whole shitty list. I seen <laughs> a little bit of it, so I know what to expect. Yeah. But oh, oh yeah, but um, friendly reminder. We did not see each other's lists before, like, doing this. That's all I'm yeah, saying. so we don't know what each other have. We all have different opinions. And yeah. All right, so we're just going to start off with Sam again. All right. My number 10 is Joel Embiid. Nine, Jimmy Butler. Eight, Damian Lillard. Seven, Anthony Davis. Six, Kevin Durant. Five, James Harden. Four, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Three, Stephen Curry. Two, LeBron James. Oh One, Kawhi Leonard. I'll cover my ears, my nigga. This, this is disgusting. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Um, 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 what made you, like, have that reaction, bro, Brandon? This nigga just put KD as sick, bro. Oh, oh, what is that? And you guys know I'm, like, the biggest KD fan. And, like, no, like, and, and Brandon is low-key a KD hater because of, no, because of LeBron and KD's beef. But you can see bro. the disgust in that list right there. Bro. They cannot actually see the disgust in his face? Yeah, they can't. You can hear it. Like, he covered his ears. Bro, even when from the last time we seen Kevin there, we know Giannis is not better than him or Kawhi, bro. Bro, okay, wait, hold up. Uh, argument the for the like I think it was like eleven minutes KD played in, in the finals last year. He literally was cooking Kawhi. In the eleven minutes he came back from another injury. He was literally. cooking Kawhi. So like, what is your argument? He's better than Kawhi, so my nigga. Take a small bro. ass time and use that for your whole argument. Yeah, we'll drop like 15. So you're gonna use a small ass time and use it for your whole argument. Okay, no, wait. anything before that. His unit, his MVP season, like all that, like everything he was doing, he's literally cooking this entire time. What about Kawhi Leonard? He was doing what? Doing mad shit, cooking niggas. That's all he did last year. Greg, what's your input on this? Hmm. Yes, Kevin Durant is six. I don't know how you could put James Harden over Kevin Durant. I mean, if you could switch that around, but besides that, yeah. 
That's the only Who's thing like, maybe you might switch. I put Giannis, four is Giannis. Four, three, is three is Stephen Curry. Two, two LeBron, LeBron James. James. One Kawhi Leonard. Why is LeBron at two? How is Kawhi over LeBron? You're going to have to tell me that. How is that? How is that? He's better than him. He's better right now. He's better so wait, than what him. happened in the last game of the season? You can't oh, just keep coming that last question. game. Answer the question. What happened in the last game of the season? Why are you talking about the last game? What happened in the last game of the season? If the season I'm about this season that didn't even finish I am yet? asking what happened in the last game of the season. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard That's in my entire last. life. Brandon, that literally has I'm nothing to do. I'm asking a simple question. Some, for some reason, you guys are like evading the question. What, answer the question. What happened in the last game of the season? The you Lakers won. Since... I won, I won. The I Lakers won. won. The Lakers oh, won, despite Lakers losing won. two of the other three games. Opening season doesn't. Opening game didn't matter, and second game is just a mishap. LeBron, you know, so he has butter on his fingers. So why? So why doesn't the game, the Third last game, the most game, important game based off played, just your idea? No, nah, it was the most important game. Everybody knew that. Why is the most important game? <laughs> there you go. Yo, not, yo, not, <laughs> yo, that was a funny ass on the spot. Like, you not, expect this nigga to go on death? Yeah, for real. Now, now, that, now everyone sees why the comment section is literally just filled with Brandon has the dumbest basketball takes of all time. But yeah, but no, but look, the reason why Kevin Durant is like, no, why it looks so dumb for him to be at six. You you can say, oh my God, Giannis does this thirty points and stuff, but Katie's better score, better um, better yeah. ball handler. It's, it's all debatable. Hmm? What? That's it's all debatable. What the? Bro, he, what? He's, he's a way better score than Giannis. Giannis is a better Giannis rebounder. Is the Giannis score, is a way better score. rebounder. Giannis is a way better rebounder. Okay, Giannis, not a way better. He's better. He's a way better. Giannis averages fifteen rebounds, and Kevin Durant averages like seven. Okay. Yeah, damn near double. That was one. That was a bad take. But Giannis plays in the paint. KD doesn't. Thank you. Thank you. I put okay, KD so playing in the like, paint. Imagine how I many little lips he's probably missing yeah. and getting the rebounds. Like, okay. We're talking about literally almost double the amount of rebounds. And I don't really know how you okay. can compare this. One player plays in the paint, one doesn't. Like, that's what he just that said. That doesn't result in little, a little double of rebounds. Okay, but like, bro. These things are so stupid. Well, no, no, but how can you make this terrible argument okay, that's based a, off that's what? Thing, okay, okay, that's like saying, is rebounding more important than scoring? No. So wait, wait, what is your no, argument here? We're also talking about there's defense. He, um, um, KD is better ball handler. He's yeah. way better. Wait, what's 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 the yeah. what, what's he's a better ball handler. That's all scoring. He's use, better at using his handles to create shots. You can't just like subdivide scoring into more aspects exactly. just to boost up your argument. Not oh, that I think that Giannis is way better defender. No, I would say KD was a great defender. He's not way better. KD just okay. became a great defender. Okay, but he's KD still a great defender. Eight, 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 eight. We're Top talking about... We're just talking about a guy who's, like, all defensive teams. Runner up for, like, multiple defensive player of the years. Exactly. And you can just, like... You guys can't just brush it aside just because... Yeah, reminded LeBron is going to win defensive player of the year. He literally wasn't, though. I think it was Anthony Davis who was the favorite. We didn't say that Giannis isn't a better defender. We just said he's not, like, like way, like, out like blown in the water. Yeah, like, no, he doesn't. I, I'm, I'm like, uh, he, like, bro, KD literally got snubbed in 2018... For being like a um, top five defensive play, MV, defensive player, shit, man, I'm stuttering too much, guys. Don't mind the stuttering and shit. This, this, nigga, this nigga stuttering because he's saying great bullshit, okay, bro. It doesn't matter. KD's a much better scorer than Giannis does rebounding or defense, so it doesn't matter. But he also makes up for that by scoring himself. Exactly. With layups and dunks, he's like nine foot ten. Fuck, okay, you can run no, and dunk. That, that, that doesn't. Fuck if I'm nine foot ten, nigga, I'm I'm king of the league. Like what the hell? I can continuously see why everyone hates on Brandon's takes. Are you going to say Shaq is not a good scorer because he's like, okay, he's but dominant? I'm taking KD is a better scorer wait, than Shaq, oh, which he is. Wait, but hold on. Wait. So since we're arguing this, like, you can make an argument. People literally argue that KD is better than LeBron, and people I say, oh, yeah, he's better. And you really can't accept that KD is better than Giannis? What, what the hell? People say that Giannis is better than LeBron, too. You think that you're out of your fucking mind. Like, say, I, I would well, I don't know who is better, but I just think your point says why, like, we're just dumb. Wait, no, I mean, what's your point? KD is the greatest scorer of all time. Yeah. I would probably uh, take no. Kevin Durant. I would take Michael Jordan. There is not a single person. There is not a single soul in NBA history that can guard Kevin Durant. There is not a single soul in NBA history that can guard Michael Jordan. Yeah. Definitely shot thirty nine percent in uh, the nineteen ninety six NBA Finals. You're so talking about one, four, one, one series. 16, uh, series. Yo, okay, you're talking about one. I can't series. imagine my goat shooting thirty nine percent unless it's against a Spurs team where he did not have any help Target whatsoever. He didn't shoot thirty nine percent. So I don't know what you're talking about right there. Yeah, but I'm talking about my goat literally never shot that bad unless he didn't have a literal single teammate around him or, uh, you know, or the great, one of the greatest teams of all time facing him. So it doesn't matter. Meanwhile, Michael Jordan shooting 39% on what? A bunch of drummers and like fucking How much janitors? Did he How much did he average? I don't know. You, you like, know he probably won. like 45. You know he won the series, right? Yeah, he 
Do you do you luck. wait what? wait wait, wait. Luck. What? Luck. You don't win six. You don't. It didn't even go to game seven. You don't just okay, say even oh. If, even if even if this isn't even on topic, but it doesn't matter. It's, Supersonics are fucking garbage, my guy. Like come on, like name more than three players on that team. Oh my god, bro. Name more than three players. That happened, happened like thirty you years ago. You you, I'm just supposed to think of that shit off the players. Dome. Name more than three players on that team. I'm just supposed to think that shit off the dome. That was more than twenty four years ago. I can name more than three players. It's not. Uh huh. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Relevant team to our era, bro. Why would we know this shit? Literally everyone from that era is just known for losing to Michael Jordan. That's kind of like I the whole point. Three players in 1994 Knicks. Cause you're a Knicks fan. Here with the excuses, bro. You niggas just have excuses. Guys, we're getting off. Let's let's go back to the list. And then, so wait, so what? you really think that? Wait, nigga, fuck his list. You go your list. Blue blue ass list. Nigga had Jimmy Butler on there. Actually, now you. Also, fun fact: Michael Jordan did not shoot 39 percent. 37. No, it was like 42. It was not 42. I remember. I didn't think yeah. you remember. It was in like 30s, bro. I, and I just pulled up in his face the stats, and Brandon is squinting. Okay, so so if a dude that sh- regularly shoots 51% from the field. Now shoot. Brandon is switching oh, up his oh, arguments. Oh, oh, oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. When it happens to LeBron, it's irrelevant, apparently. 51 or 52% from the field just starts magically shooting 41%. What are you going to say he did in that series? They he won. Choked. He choked. Did Le- did, Dir- did Dirk Nowitzki choke in 2011? He, did, he does not regularly shoot 52%. Bro, well, he definitely yes, shoots he high does. 40s. Okay, he's high 40s is not the same. <laughs> he's definitely a member of the 50-40-90 club. One year in his career, he probably went 50 40. You know how stupid he sounds, bro? Has LeBron ever won 50 40? It doesn't matter. Has Michael Jordan? Yeah, no. Don't ask Michael Jordan. Well, I'm Jordan probably, didn't wait, play wait, in the three point era. I don't care. I don't care. I'm pretty Scrub. sure. They shortened the three point line for him and everything. Second, they changed it back. He started shooting 23%. Didn't they shorten it while he was gone? It was still shortened when he was there in '96. So okay, what are you what are you talking about? They shortened it for him. I'm saying okay, and then when he came back, when they changed it back, he started shooting 23 percent from the three point line. Boy, it was trash. Because he's not a he's not a three point adapt guess, that to his guess, game. Guess who, guess who can adapt? LeBron James. He didn't need to adapt. Are you LeBron dumb? Or are you just stupid? But your point was that they did it for Jordan, and he proved that they did it. And you just like he made that mm-hmm. up. He literally said, "Didn't they?" You don't know when they did it. Like, Wait. They probably did it in '95, which is the season that he came it's back. Fact, by the way, they didn't know he kicked. Anyway, we're just going to avoid the topic. Brandon's just saying dumb shit again. Let's start with Mike. So at number 10, we got Joel Embiid, the best center in the NBA right now. Number 9, we got Damian Lillard. Number 8, I got Luka. Seven, oh, Sam didn't have Luka. What the fuck? Jimmy Butler is better than What the fuck? Yo, nah. Yo. I think your opinions are probably worse than Brandon's. And like, and yo. The only thing Jimmy Butler does better than Luka literally is defending. That's the only thing possible he does better. Everything else, Luka blows him out the water. What the fuck? He's been putting up those stats for two years now. He's been doing it in, in the Euro League. Like, he's proven that he can do it in the big league. Against grown men, he's been doing it when he was 16. Niggas say he's just doing stats. What else you want him to do? J- Jimmy Butler doesn't put up stats. <laughs> That's the point. The, the, the Mavericks are winning. And he leads his teammates. The Mavericks are winning. All right, so are the Heat. So are the Heat. Okay, the Heat have a Jimmy Butler got that chance with the 76ers. Like, I thought, I mean, I, okay, I'm a 76ers fan. I thought they were going to be, oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, no, wait, I, I've said this before. My favorite team in the East is the 76ers. I've never said any other team. I can't even blame Jimmy Butler for the 76ers, man. Yeah, that was pure luck that Kawhi Leonard hit that <laughs> shot. If you ask a fun fact about that game, yeah. Jimmy nah. was actually surging the 76ers back. I remember when I was watching and, and look, and, and he just left, like, out of nowhere. Because, like... <gasps> oh, yeah, bro. They, they were going to go to the finals if Kawhi Leonard literally didn't they were not gonna that shot. Giannis. What? They were not going to beat Giannis. Nah, they would have beat Giannis. Wait, let's talk yeah. about how Giannis just goes to the sure. playoffs and just chokes. Sure. Like, bro, bro, this guy lost to LeBron, who had no help. I was arguing Marlon with that. He lost to LeBron, who had no help. And he had the best team in the East and just lost to LeBron like that. When? Which year was that? In, in, 2008, in 2018. In 2018. Yes, they, no, they, they lost did. to the Celtics, my nigga. Yeah, no, they, they lost to no. the Celtics in the they first round. The Celtics. They lost to the Celtics they in the never, first round. I was they arguing. Did. This nigga Marlon is dumb. Nah, this nigga Marlon is dumb. No, these niggas are worse. Okay, but yeah, but no, no. Worse. Worse. Yeah, he's even worse. Like, <laughs> bro. lost in the first round to a team that had no leader. Mm-hmm. Bro, no. Uh, Kyrie was injured that year, and he lost yeah. to that team. Like, just, like, look at him. Look. So Look at that, that nigga! Like, but that was come on. They were good, though. No, they were no, bro. They had, they had, they had, they had, they had the seventh seed. What are you talking about? They were the seventh seed that year. The Bucks? Yeah. 
What? They were, they were they're not seven seed. seed. Yes, they were because the Celtics were the oh, second yeah. seed. The Bucks were still good that year. Though. Like they were like they were. Giannis was still no. Giannis team. was a star. I don't care. He was still a star. I'm pretty sure Giannis averaged like twenty seven that year. Well, yeah, Giannis points team. has been going up every year. He's definitely. He was, he was definitely, definitely like. Hold on, Greg. You fact check that because I'm not sure. <laughs> the Bucks by 2018. I know Giannis was a superstar. I know he was. Yeah, yeah hell he yeah! Like was. I know he was. Yeah, I don't think they were a seven seed. They were definitely no. Nah, they, they were probably seven. Actually, seven. yeah, because they, they were like no. Because like, like if you put the matchups, like there's yeah, no reason they would have been versed in the first round. They were one of the low seeds, but they were probably a it was 2018, right? Yeah, it was 2018. It's still embarrassing that they lost. Like, but yeah, but look, hold on. That's another factor between KD and Giannis. This nigga comes in and like chokes. I, that was like, that was like, like no, like first year in the playoffs. Nah, he went to no, it wasn't. Right, second year. And, and wait, hold, hold on. But then how he when he once again went against Kawhi, he, I'm pretty sure the Bucks like have the way better team. They had Middleton averaging twenty. Yeah, they had, averaging, yeah, they had game, Giannis uh, averaging thirty. And then they got um, what's his name at point guard? Bloodsoe, good defensive guard. Not a good fit for that team. Either. Well, but they had the better team. Man. Wait, hold on. What happened with the facts? Oh, it's a seven. Yeah, they're seven. I'm okay. Oh. He's averaging like twenty seven and thirteen. Yeah. And then he probably went to the series averaging like eighteen. Okay. I got James Harden at seven, A D at six, Giannis at five, Kawhi at four, Curry at three, LeBron James at two, and K D huh? number one. There it is. So he was a superstar, and he fucking lost a team with no. Bro, but that's not just an average superstar. This thing is averaging twenty seven and ten. I mean, Come LeBron, on. Got pushed LeBron got pushed to seven with literally no one on his team. No soul. Not, not a single thing. soul. He actually... I, you want me to pull up the stats right now? I can, I, he literally scored more than his team in some of those games. Like, LeBron was responsible for more of his team's I mean, points than, than anybody. That's, that's what I was saying, too. But then, like, that's also, that LeBron team was trash. That was literally... The, that that team, it's literally, when he left, they became the worst team in the league. Like, no, nothing changed about him. I thought we were talking about when we last saw them. We last saw Giannis... Oh yeah, last he year he was different. Exactly, he's oh, yeah. different. He's different now. But he's not the same Giannis. I I, I mean I mean he, I mean. Twenty nineteen though. He's kind of the same. No, look, last, I said the only thing he really does yeah, like he, he scores he more points. Brandon like all like I remember in high school. Yeah, Brandon no, kept I saying so no no. Brandon that, kept bro. saying oh no 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 he's gonna win he's gonna win and then after he lost Brandon was telling me oh no he didn't choke just. The team didn't pull through. He kept defending and making up bullshit. It was like, and now he's just switching up his argument because he sees him as a threat to LeBron. Nah, he, he let me down there. I, I I don't know what's wrong with that nigga, but I just, no, it's not true at all. Because he was not. He was defending him afterwards. Okay. Capping ass nigga. Give me a list, Greg. My list. Is, well, my, no, my, my list is just rubbish. Right. You did. No, not KD at one. I don't even want to argue that. Wait, hold, hold on. Well, um, it's ridiculous. This nigga said it's ridiculous because this guy's not average in my five. I have, come on, this list is pure. Wait, you didn't have Anthony Davis. I do have Anthony oh, Davis. Oh, at seven, bro. Yeah. Then you had ADS. Oh, you had ADS at six. You have him at six. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, you, I don't think Giannis is better than AD. Giannis? What? Nah, Giannis is definitely better than AD. Yeah. But this thing's not a competition. That one was out of pocket, bro. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine Giannis on the Lakers? Actually, you go, man. Your turn. No, 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 no. Greg has, Greg has to go before me. I want my list. Okay. Stay for last. Best list in the world. Okay, here's my list. I'm going to start off with Tatum. What? Wait, what? At 10. Oh, yeah. Wait, who? Wait, I'm going to start off with Jason Tatum. Tatum. Jason Tatum. Yeah. They're a top three seed, and he's like the leader. After that, I'm going to put Westbrook at nine. Well, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Then I'm going to put Luka at eighth. Then I'm going to put Harden at seventh. Okay. Anthony Davis at six. Oh, this nigga copied. And then I'm gonna put Steph at uh, five. Wow, oh my, a Steph fan. And then I put KD at uh four. Wow. Put Giannis at three, and then for top one, it's a toss up between LeBron and Kawhi. Bro, stop. We all know LeBron's better. I mean, what Kawhi did like last year, he just, pretty much you mean dominated. A weakened Warriors team there that stretched him to six and not, seven. Not just him, but like had any ounce of clutchness in his gene, it would have went to game seven. It's not really why they lost, two. but. And then also, and co- no, wait, but no, but no, actually, wait, no, I'm not going to lie, we, we need to, like, talk on Kawhi too, like, how he, like, brought that Raptors team who got dominated by LeBron every single year, and they just replaced him for DeMar, and he just Siakam brought them to a championship. Siakam woke up, that's all it was. No, it's because DeMar was really, like, garbage. Like, I think, 
I think no, he had like wait, nah, he, he in was two not, years. He just wasn't like he wasn't that star player that was gonna do shit. I'm like in two years. I'm pretty sure that nigga had three playoff games like with single digits. That shit was ridiculous, bro. He had like that eight point game. Said, "Oh, don't worry, this is never gonna happen again." And then nigga had like five points against the Cavs. <laughs> that shit was ridiculous. LeBron got in his head. Nah, cool and, 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 nigga, Kyle Lowry just. Actually, I don't even know what the fuck he did. Nah, nah. Yo, I actually looked at the stats. Kyle Lowry was like decent in that that like that last series they played. Yeah, nah. it was literally just Demar. That nigga's literally just ass. I remember they benched that nigga and they yeah, came I remember back. That. And then LeBron did the you know the yeah. Yeah. Siakam like shit. Like he came out of nowhere. Like oh, yeah, yeah. I, no, I'm, 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 but I'm not gonna lie. Without him, it, it would have been a lot different. They would have done all that. Yeah, that's right. This nigga's averaging like how much right now? Twenty five now. Like, like, so, so with Kawhi, he was averaging like, I think like, like seventeen at the time. Like Most improved player. Yeah. So it was a good success. But yeah, the reason I have KD over Steph is because he's seven foot, and that he can just impact the game more. Yeah, he's that simple. Can he impact the game more than Steph? Steph literally, no. Did. You have to guard Steph everywhere on the court. Yeah. Well, I think, but he, no, he can no, like that's do everything. So he much. can do that, but at the same time, this other side, he can rebound. He can defend a lot better. Yeah, yeah, but Steph is literally like a god when it no. comes to shooting. Like yeah, he's yeah, different. But, yeah, and yeah, like, but, but that too. But then, like in Kevin Durant, like but, I mean, he's not like on the god level as Steph Curry, but he's all like he's he's near that level. Like he's just it's not like downplayed. He's near that level where you have to guard him all over the court. You don't have to guard him at half court. I'm not guarding Kevin Durant. Well, like but, he'll but, make like but bro, three he, out of he, he's shown that he could. Shoot yeah, he can, like, distance. pull it sometimes, but, like, Steph, but Steph also, will literally make that almost every single time, bro. Like, I don't, like, factor in leadership a lot, but when it comes to Steph, like, Steph is just a yeah. different breed. Like, he literally accepts everybody. He puts himself after yeah. everyone else. Like, he literally, he'll do whatever it takes to win. He literally does not care. But I also have Steph lower because just by nature, since his height and he's a point guard, it's a lot easier to, like, defend him. Like, yeah. what the Raptors did. That's why they lost. Face. They were able to, like, box him one and, like, just have one man follow him and play his own. Can't really do that against a guy. He still average like thirty. Yeah, but no, but no, he didn't do that the whole game though. That's like when Clay went out and they lost that. I mean, when you lose two of the best the players on your team, you know, I, and you, like, I don't Draymond, think you're gonna win. His shooting won. percentages went a lot lower because like he just constantly. If he was clutch. They would have won that game. But he's constantly getting open. No I'm way. That last shot that. though, he was like dead open. I'm pretty sure. I'm ninety percent sure he was dead open. And he missed it. I don't think during a single point in the series he was open. No, they literally I, mean, I, I remember like they left him. Oh, I'm pretty sure like they missed him. They messed up like some of the miscommunication or something, and he ended up open and he like missed it. Okay, I'm pretty sure we stopped the step crazy not clutch when he dropped thirty against the Rockets. Everybody misses. That's like it's one game. <laughs> <laughs> it's one no, game. No, it's one game. My nigga, <laughs> no, but he's like all right. Brandon just moments. he was dead so, fucking wait, open. Oh, but he's like yeah, he missed the shot. To add up to like just like throw away his he's moments. Yeah, a lot of clutch moments where he just choked. There's a lot. He had a lot of I'm a Steph Curry. I, I love He's like my second wait, favorite player. Randy says this about every player. Yeah, he starts to insult. This is my favorite player. Like, I hate talk, hold up. You're going to talk about LeBron's classes. You're going to fucking end up dying. Let's go. You want to go about it? LeBron's like LeBron has more game winners than LeBron and Kobe. I mean, than Jordan and Kobe. You're doing that, right? Game winners are not just the only thing. Oh, okay. LeBron in game 6, 2013. What happened? Surge his team back. Down from 13. Score 16 in the quarter, bro. How many clutch moments are there for fucking Jordan? Or Kobe. The block, 2016. We all know what that happened there. Game 6, actually. Game Arguably 5, 2016. Too. Are you stupid? Arguably. What? The ball. Shut the fuck up, bro. Nah, no, bro. bro. Shut, shut up. Well, shut up, bro. You <laughs> replays where you no, see no, the ball. No, no argument, Mike. No, no, nigga, no, keep right, ended. Up, stupid. All right, shut up, bro. All right. All right. Brandon, uh, fucking okay. nigga, dollar. Just dump the ball, bro. This is yo. Shit, that, bro. You don't go for a layup on a fast break. You just bounce. Mike, you, Mike, Mike, you should be game. happy, bro. You because of that block, KD has rings. Because of that no, block, but, KD has rings. No, but then, but also because of that block, you have niggas like Brandon who's just like, oh my, oh, it brings greatest, that bro. like that's that fucking series up every single time. time. Like Le, like LeBron didn't get outplayed by Jason Terry. Get to the oh, final six times and lose in three. Yo, it boggles my mind. Like, don't. When LeBron fans say no, rings don't actually matter, nine times, nine but times. the only time LeBron fans like actually got bold enough to say he was the goat is after twenty sixteen. <sighs> goat, come on, you love to see it, bro. You like it. But anyways, all right, go on my list thing. Damn, all right, number ten. I got my nigga Trey Young, bro. Nobody had Trey Young. Where's it Trey Young love? He averaged thirty and ten, thirty and nine point two actually on the season. I don't know why he was not one of the worst teams. 
Okay, still 30 and, and, and 9.2, it doesn't matter. And number 9, I had to agree with Greg. Uh, I had Russell Westbrook at 9. I don't know, where's the Russell Westbrook love from you two niggas? Aren't you a Russell Westbrook fan, bro? Like, damn. But, but Damian Lillard has proved that he's better than... Nah, that's he's just... Than I don't he care. Was, you know, I did, he shit him nah, on. nah, fuck no, out of no, here, bro. <laughs> I actually had to revoke my side. I completely forgot about Dame. He actually is goes above. And Jimmy Butler. What? <laughs> bro, no. Bro. <laughs> he goes above Westbrook. Bro. So that bumps Westbrook down to 10. Yo, who's your what time? position is Jimmy I'm Butler? Jason Tatum. Small forward or shooting guard? Uh, small forward. All right. Jimmy Butler's not a top. All right. I'm trying to think. Oh, all right. I had Anthony Davis at number eight. You know, Anthony Davis at number eight. Then I had Luca. Eight. Shut up, nigga. I had Luca at uh seven. Luka. Yeah. Harden at, Harden at six. I had Steph at five. I agree with Greg there. Kawhi at four. You know, he's all right, whatever. Then I had the Greek Freak, you know, at three. Then I had KD at number two. Second, definitely a second. He's proved, like, I don't know how hard he has to prove that he's the second best player. It's not even hard. If you watch 2017 finals, not a single soul on earth can guard that motherfucker. Wait, hold on, Nigga man. shot 60% from the field and 55 from three or some shit like that. Not even LeBron can guard him. Nobody can guard him, bro. Brandon, you say, you're just saying and then, that because number one, LeBron lost him. Hold on. You said to gas him up. What number one, like it's number one, that, number one I got the LeBron greatest LeBron. player of all time, the king, LeBron James. Wait, wait, wait. Can you give another player praise without mentioning LeBron? I, I I gave Steph praise number five. You know he's cool. I like Steph, greatest shooter of all time. Not even hard, not even close. Damn, it was actually better. It's, it's kind of crazy. Like people used to argue that Steph was better than all these niggas. Now we yeah, got this nigga. But the only home. reason, no, it's reason crazy. You can still argue it. Still rudely interrupted. Oh yeah, yeah. Go on, save it. Nah, it's alright. No, speak, nigga. I don't remember what I was gonna say. You said something about like the only reason. Oh yeah. The only reason that Steph isn't regarded as like anyway, it's just fuck that nigga saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Sam, you can act. No, go, Greg. Greg. No, go. No, I didn't have anything go. to say. I just wanted to make the joke. Go. I just, I just wanted to make the joke, bro. Damn, Sam, we're never gonna know if you wanted to. Wait, say. y'all y'all have any honorable mentions for your top ten list? Honorable mention. Uh yeah. Who? I'll put Westbrook on overall. I might have Joel Embiid actually honorable mention. I'll put, uh, I'll throw Luca up there. Yeah, I'd probably put, like, Frank Lovakino or some shit. I know Sam, we're not even going to acknowledge No, I want to know your opinion, though. I don't know Steph Curry topic. I mean, Steph Curry is se- severely underrated. No, yeah. you're an idiot. But um, the reason why people thought that is because 2016 was literally one of the greatest MVP seasons, if not the greatest MVP seasons anybody had ever seen. Because it was just, like, some shit you, you'll cool. never see yeah. again. Dude, why do you call him an idiot? There was, like, literally nothing dumb he about him. underrated. Center. He probably is underrated. Steph Curry is not underrated. Nobody underrated definitely is. But hold on, but by our list, it shows. He's, he's number five on almost everybody's list. So that's not underrated. Three. 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 I could put him over. I could put him over. I could easily put him over a lot of people like Giannis. Uh, like I said, Giannis. I put him over KD. Wait, wait, okay. KD. Think about it like this. If you're having a fantasy Harden. draft, are you going to take Steph Curry over Giannis instead of Kumpo? I'm just because of age, I'm going to take Giannis. No, wait. No, but then. No, but then. But also for leadership, like, I might pick Curry just. What this nigga did with the Warriors. One season? These niggas start from so scratch. Issues. Exactly. Like, you can, Steph can play with anybody. You in can any literally system. put anybody with Steph. Any player in the league. It doesn't matter. How are you winning, though? Yes. What? Wait, has, has Giannis what kind of is that? He's gonna win Giannis went Curry? to the conference finals. Like, he made it. To, okay, <laughs> he choked against Hawaii, but he made it to the conference. Finals. Why? He spanked that Celtics team. Like, like we're all forgetting. He literally like raw dogged them. Like, what was like? Nobody's thinking about that. It was on the Celtics team. The, like, that, that was bro, the one where Kyrie was there. I think Hayward was back too. Like, they were the full team. Like, the, the the squad? Squad? Yeah, that's, they, okay, they, they got wait. Okay, they bro. were cancer, but like he still fucking whooped their fucking ass. I remember, no, no, hold on. Don't try and spin the narrative. Let me spin it. Okay, game one, they lost. I distinctively remember Mad Niggas was like, the series is over. Mad, I know Paul Pierce is mad. Paul Pierce! That was Paul Pierce. Paul but, Pierce. Okay, but niggas thought that Giannis was going to choke again, and he came back and went 4-0 on them niggas. He, and it wasn't even just like he went 4-0. He literally like disrespected them. I'm pretty sure he put up like some 40 and 20 numbers. Or something. I might be making that up, but like you know what I'm talking about, though, bro. Nigga, you know, of course you're making up 40 and 20. Nigga, that, that, that's... God, like you know, that, it is it's great that Giannis so that Giannis cool. led his team to a conference finals. Steph Curry led his team to two NBA finals. Bro, no, 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 and no, no, and, wait, hold on. Not even that. Like those, those teams are were built from scratch. Like, like all, all built of chemistry. Can we talk? Twenty fifteen, Curry. I, I was like, I loved Curry to death, but like, come on, he skirted there. Like every point guard they faced was literally injured. That is a fact. Every single point guard they faced, even in the finals, was injured. And then they, the Rockets were not injured. The Rockets were complete. Yeah, they were the second game. team. I'm pretty sure Patrick Beverly missed a couple games. Yeah. And then, then they're making it seem like that's nothing. Patrick Beverly's one of the best. I hate Patrick Beverly to fucking death. He's still one of the best uh, point guard defenders. Yeah. And then 2016, 
led his team to another NBA Finals. Seventy three and nine too. And then even in what twenty thirteen, he led his team to the second round. Yeah, that was impressive. So uh, there's far more, many more impressive feats in the playoffs than Giannis has. Well, Giannis is Giannis like one just, series oh, wait, of basing past the first Giannis round. Giannis going to the conference finals and like losing. One, he, he made it past the first round like once. What did he do in 2016? Like, well, how many times do you have to see Giannis go to playoffs and lose until like we... I, I mean, right now, since there's nobody in the East that like, he has competition with, this is like oh, the yeah, time. Steph Curry did this shit in the West. Yeah, the, the West, like uh, against like 2016, bro, I'll give him a against the Spurs, like when he has to go against Tim Duncan and them in their in, like. Um, literally, in 2016, he literally did not go up against Tim Duncan. But no, but I'm, but I'm just talking about like the the, <laughs> like, the Western <laughs> Conference, though. <laughs> no, Western Conference. Tim Duncan. Wait, hold, hold. You no, did, like, wait, wait the teams that he versus the, 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 the only team that was impressive was the Thunder. To be honest, that was like. What is this? I mean, nigga, you play the playoffs. If you're the number one seed, you're the number one seed. You play like the okay, but I'm seed. saying like like it's not really many many impressive wins there except for the Thunder. What that, the fuck impressive wins no, is Giannis no, have? against the Celtics? I'm giving him that. That that Celtics team is not an impressive. That was a good. Team. That was still no matter what you think about Kyrie and how to toxic he is. Like literally, that Celtics team was still solid. That was a great team. They were actually expected to go to the finals. No, it was a good team. Yeah, before this season, that's but... like LeBron beating Victor Oladipo on the Pacers. Like that. That's no, that was that was a no wait. Impressive yeah, win. I don't no, care yeah, how you spin like... that. I don't care how you spin that. That was an impressive win for LeBron. What? Yeah, you know you can't spin anything against LeBron. <laughs> but, but yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, no, no, but no, but once. But then also just the regular season shit that Curry was doing with that team, nigga. Like in the Western Conference, he has to go against these powerhouse teams four games. Compared to Giannis going against these weak ass, the weak East, <laughs> LeBron led teams. And if we're talking like just last playoffs, Steph Curry did more last last year's playoffs with a depleted roster. He did more. Well, he averaged. You know, he averaged like thirty points per game against its uh, Trailblazers. Giannis yeah. has He's still not Blazers. shown that he can beat the teams that have held him down. Like Curry beat the Spurs and all the other West teams that have held him down. Uh, Le- LeBron did that with the Pistons and all that. Giannis hasn't shown he's that caliber of a player. He hasn't like overcome like what's been yeah, holding him down his whole career. Players, all the players that beat Giannis literally went to the West, so now he had to do it in the finals. Yeah, that's what I'm saying right now. Like if he, but he didn't show it when he could have. I know, I know. He was in the playoffs last year and the year before, and he didn't. He didn't beat Kawhi. He didn't beat uh, LeBron. All the players that he should have. If Giannis starts getting to the playoffs, I mean, starting to the finals, I feel like he's going to get the LeBron effect because there's nobody in the East. People are going to downplay his road to the finals right now. I'm telling you, they are. And like, What's the second seed in the East right now? Raptors. Bro. And that's, then, a, that's, a, that's a solid team. But without Kawhi? Yeah. You talking about Kyle Lowry and Pascal Siakam? Like, no offense like, to bro, them, like, but. Yeah, they are going to. Uh, come uh, on. Like, bro, who's going to hit that clutch shot Kawhi did? Who's going to um, defend those, like, the other players, the other stars besides Siakam? Like, exactly. Gonna, like, Niggas always just Celtics trash are, Celtics Kyle Lowry. Celtics are good team. They're a good team. They're a good team. No, they have Kimball no, Walker, no, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and uh, who else? Is Gordon somebody? Hayward. Gordon Hayward. They, like Gordon Hayward's averaging like. Kimball Walker's also a player too. Like this nigga, like all like having some crazy stats on the Hornets, and then now it's like it's not even really. He's not the leader anymore. It's Jason Tatum now. Leader. And Jalen Brown. Nigga, but like who would think that like nigga Jason Tatum's gonna lead over Kemba? Like everyone yeah. knew. That third overall pick. He was expected to be a, one of the team leaders. Um, but yes. Kemba Walker was one of the best point guards He's in the league. Never regarded top as five. a top five point guard. What I, I knew this dumbass nigga was going to say that. I don't think anyone Dude. ever regarded Kemba Walker. No, 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 no. No. Prior to that season, it was predicted that Kemba would lead that team. Yeah, yeah like, but I mean, it's not surprise. Like, who's surprised? Like, like out of the Jason water Tatum that Jason Tatum, Tatum like, is the best wait, player. Wait, like, wasn't thing that Jason Tatum is averaging eighteen is gonna come lead the team over we, Kawhi? We like, knew Kemba, Kyrie's 25. toxic ass was holding him down. Who didn't know that? We saw in twenty eighteen playoffs where he took over the team. What are you talking? You niggas are fucking retarded or something? We saw in 2018 in the playoffs that he can lead the team, which but he did. And Kyrie's like, toxic no, ass wait, holding wait, no, him down. However, who didn't notice? I want to clarify this. Cause it really gets overblown. He really did not lead that oh my, team. Talking about points now. Oh my nigga, they were all like the same. Like, okay, nigga, everyone literally averaged like the same exact same fucking stats. numbers. Okay, yes. He was the clear cut leader though. He dunked on the LeBron. I'm pretty sure it was Al Horford. Al Horford was like, yeah, second best player. Yeah, because <laughs> he was dead ass the leader. <laughs> nigga, to laugh. Bro, Al Horford was putting up the bro, same bro. amount of points while being the best bro. defender on the team. Yeah, bro. What? Niggas is laughing oh, like. Wait, niggas is laughing when you ever you play like bullshit. This niggas. shit, like bro, like that 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 you don't see on the stat yeah, sheet and stuff, right like now. on You're defense. Al Horford is literally the one who guarded Giannis oh, Antetokounmpo and, and, and locked him up. You're Giannis. 
So, <laughs> so wait, wait. So bro, nigga locks up Giannis. Bro, he's the reason why Giannis damn near averages scoring in the paint like that. He's, he's the reason. Locked up Giannis. That? Averages damn near the Sin same amount of points. Crying. So can you explain how it was, Jason Tatum? He's literally crying. Wait, wait. wait how, how about we? How about we? How about we, how about we use facts? He locks up Giannis, the oh, best defender on the God. team, the best rebounder, and he's like the second leading, third or second leading scorer by like two points. Series, because you're a dumbass. <laughs> no, bro, not, I remember people saying how, how like Giannis, like Orford is just like locking up the paint for Giannis. That's what he was doing in that series. Okay, remember last podcast? It was the very first podcast where niggas nah. said, oh, they signed, they signed out Horford, the Sixers, just because he was shutting down Joel Embiid. And who did they beat? Giannis and Joel Embiid, just to make it to that conference final. So, explain. I don't even know what he's talking about anymore. Yeah, he, locked up, he locked up Joel Embiid. He locked up Joel Embiid and Giannis. Fuck, this nigga talking about Al Horford, guys. Can we Al Horford? And Brandon's Real talking about dumb basketball know. shit. Nigga, nigga, nigga. This is why everyone in the comment section says Brandon has the worst basketball takes. I think that has to be. I think this is. You just steal fights, joke, nigga. You could have said a 20 day contract. You didn't even say it right. But yeah, but yeah, we're talking about the East. The only thing, and then we have Miami Heat, Celtics in the Heat, and Raptors. Or Giannis's competition. I don't, I don't really think they're going to do much to Giannis. Except for the Heat. Like, I think the Heat will be. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I speak? <laughs> Can I speak? Here comes this Jimmy Butler. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> Did he have two legitimate players to guard Giannis? They can switch on and off him. Jimmy Butler and Bi- Bam, Bam Adebayo. What? Who's the Jimmy Butler can guard Giannis? Yes. Wow. Jimmy Butler is 6'8". You want to hold this back? You know Giannis is like 7'2", right? He's 6'11". He's like Giannis Antetokounmpo is 6'11". Oh, his shoes. Greg, Greg he he, he gets the boots. So 7'1", 7 foot. He's in lost shoes. They without shoes, shoes he's 6'11", ball. nigga. They, they wear shoes in their ball. Yeah, he got yeah. measured without shoes. All right, and with, and this, with, shoes. with, with shoes, Jimmy Butler's like 6'10". No. So <laughs> how are you going to play? 6'6". What? Jimmy Butler literally he six, just six, says six, that. Six, if you play, just say dumb shit. Like He got measured. You can search it up. It's because he wants to be oh. a shooting guard. He wants to be a shooting guard. So he's, he's probably like 6'7". Six, 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 oh, bro. Oh, okay. like Okay, with shoes, 6'9". Bro. He's not the same size as LeBron. I'm talking about with shoes. Clearly, y'all adding two inches to every player with <laughs> shoes. So, that, I'm just going by y'all logic. That's why everyone says KD's seven foot. I mean, they measured KD him. is seven foot. He no, no, but he they is. measured every player, nigga. You, K- you know, KD has literally admitted on shoes, seven though. feet. He, the reason why he put his height at 6'9 at the draft because he didn't want to be uh, put as a center. They and said nobody, he was even shorter, though. They said he was like 6'8". Like, when no, they, 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 but, is literally tall. Kevin Durant's literally tall. So, clearly the NBA doesn't know what the fuck they're they talking don't. about. They don't. He's literally taller than DeMarcus Cousins. Like, there's a picture of them next to yeah. him. He's taller than him. Exactly. DeMarcus Cousins is at 6'11". And I've seen <laughs> pictures of Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler next to LeBron. He's 6'9", like, or 10. This thing is at 6'10". It's not 6'10". <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but hold on. But so, if, if Jimmy Butler is that tall, like... He, like he's never locked up LeBron. He's never locked up. He Giannis. has locked up LeBron. He's locked up LeBron. What happened in the 2015 uh, playoffs? Man, some of this. That was like his coming out year. That was not his coming out year. Right after. 2014. Here is, here is exactly. Him next to Taj Gibson. He's clearly. Taj Gibson. Taj Gibson is 6'9". Taj Gibson is 6'9". He's 6'9". Dumbass. Taj Gibson is 6'9". Yeah. Dumbass nigga. The only reason I know that is because of 2K. Yeah, 2K. Like, I don't pay attention to Taj Gibson ass nigga. 20 day contract ass Hold up. I think it was Jack in 6'9". You just look for the worst picture possible. Nigga, there's another pic right here. Let me see. Wait, hold on. Okay. Same here, goof, bro. Bro, you don't know how to do that. You can search up him next to LeBron. Exactly. Well, he's I want good him, like, if he's short. Side by side, perfect. He's not even that tall. Even if it's his hair. Like, he's look, not that look, tall. Look, look. Look right here. He's taller than LeBron. He's in the forefront. This thing is retarded, What the? Bro. He's literally he's in the stupid. forefront. Look, they're the same height, you dummy. His hair. And they, well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> bro. Don't matter. It's the same height. He's not. Look Wait, at next to Kawhi. He's taller. Kawhi's 6'7". Yeah. They're the I same height. He's taller. He's no, taller. they're the same height. Look, look it up, Greg. Look taller. at the list. Look, look. Nigga, look at their foreheads. Their foreheads at the same spot. A spot. You're looking at the hair. Look, yeah, look, he sees it. He, he's starstruck at the moment. 6'7", listed. Okay, he's near LeBron's height. But that's, you're comparing him guarding to a 
Like uh, Shaq's oh, height shit. type player. Look at that. Look at that. Go. You're literally picking like the worst picture. <laughs> He's literally behind you. Okay, but yeah, but um, that's besides the point. You're you're factoring the point that oh, that he could come in and like shut down Giannis. I mean, Hold on. Giannis. Is- Why are we basing defense only on height? Like P- PJ Tucker doesn't defend six ten players, and he's like six five. Sure and they still Tucker drop 20 points on him. 20 points. No, they don't. PJ Tucker, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tucker locks like down 260. people. Okay? And Jimmy Butler he, is like... He's like one... He's two, like two, 220. 220. It's not... He's 220. Yes, he's making up shit. Jimmy Butler, my nigga. Yo, bro. He's 220 or 230. Yes. He's at most 230. At most. He's not the same weight as PJ Tucker. We're close. And then Giannis is way stronger than him. So he's going to take him to the paint. Bah! Body this nigga. And just... Score. He's way quicker than him, though. No, Jimmy Butler's way quicker than him. I don't, I don't even, I don't even no, know. No, bro. Giannis wait, hold on. Gets to the wait, hold on. But each side of the hoop, like two steps. You're talking about speedy. Giannis, this nigga takes three steps. He's already in the paint. What does his speed gonna do for that? Giannis is already gonna be in the paint. Bro. If this speed mattered, thing. Westbrook would lock up Giannis, according to you. If speed mattered. At the end of the day, they have two players to guard Giannis sounds <laughs> Okay. 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 That's my argument. All right, guys. You know but, but that's a good argument, though. The Heat does have the the star structure. The players actually they don't have too much stars. They just have enough players. So they have, yeah, they have Derek Jones Jr. He's a good defender. He's tall. Boy, but look, what the nigga that dunks? The nigga that dunks? Why are you acting like he's just a dunker? He's clearly <laughs> developed his game. You just have don't watch the Heat. Okay, bro. But you yeah, just don't watch it. He's a, it's a good defensive player. Watching Heat. Okay. <laughs> but wait, but look, but you see, uh, okay. we're putting points and then. If Giannis comes in and loses to the Heat, that's already like he's done. He's not like he's not better than KD or LeBron or Kawhi or Curry, and his legacy is gonna get ruined right there. Giannis has to prove that he can do it. All right, I think we can all agree on that. Yeah, in the weak East, the, weak, yeah. the East is looking weak right now. It's probably at its weakest point. Well, it's the Bucks are just really, really fucking good. Yeah. All right, guys, it's been a fun podcast Wait, today. Just ask a quick question. We need to talk about little baby. Shout out little baby right now if you want. Unanimous MVP. Yeah, Unanimous MVP has the best song of the year, the bigger picture, and we paid. Yes, sir, excuse me. You just wanted that to shout out the obvious, but Sam, you wanted to say something? I mean, we already passed it. Sam's no, no, baby. no. I didn't bring it up. What are you going to say? The basketball time. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask like, what do you guys think Jimmy Butler's legacy is gonna be? Like, if he oh wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, don't know, I think we talked about this before. I, know, I think Henny taught, said, "Oh, I, I don't think he thinks Jimmy Butler's gonna make the Hall of Fame." <laughs> Name his accolades where he's gonna make the Hall of Fame. He's definitely gonna accolades. make the Hall of, the Hall of Fame. For what? what accolades? What accolades? Yeah, he has uh, several defensive teams. Okay. Several All Star teams. He's made like hold on, like um, I think five All Star teams. Oh, it's the NBA Hall of Fame. Right? He will make it in, bro. He literally doesn't have that one, too. Though. And then, but then also like like he he's he's not gonna he's not gonna. You also have to come in, like, your team history. He's not going to come in the fucking Bulls, like, top steals or blocks and shit. He is. He's, he's definitely going to. He's not. Bro, whoa, 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 He's bro, one bro. of the only players in history, him and Kawhi, to have more, more steals, steals than, uh, than fouls. Uh, what oh, yeah. are you talking about? But wait, but I'm, I'm talking about the top steals, nigga. He's, he's not even in there. I, that's just because of Michael Jordan. He's clearly not, not going to get number one. But he's, he's not He's not in, in the top ten. He is in the top ten. He's going Search to be in the top right now. I mean, he's Probably not in the top is. ten. I, 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 the only reason he's not is because he didn't have enough. Like he started to become a star. Like this nigga took like four years to develop. Yeah, more. exactly. So yeah. Okay. Oh, he's still gonna be in the Hall of Fame. By the way, 2015 Bulls were expected to be the 2015 Bulls. <sighs> All right, got. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. And they lost. If you're gonna put him in the Hall of Fame, compare him to like a player, um, old player. I mean, it, I'm not. I can't think of one off the dome. <laughs> All right, <laughs> there. Look, he, he can't go off the dome. All right, I'll, you know what? I'll give you a player. Uh, I would compare him to Sidney Moncrief, but Sidney no, Moncrief, Moncrief is better. Way better. Sydney yeah, Moncrief. way better. He's trash, bro. He's a way better defender than Jimmy. Than Butler. Jimmy Butler, bro. Yeah, you know. Bro, yo, you're you smoking know, dick right now. You know, Sidney Moncrief won like Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah, and a, bro. Like, a and it's a he won the first. Era. I think he won the first Defensive Player of the Year ever, and it was in an era of centers. We're only centers. Wait, like, what year was that? Like 1983, I think. 
Yes. 83. Look, look, look. Hold on. Who is it? Hold on. He was on the Wait, wait, hold on. I bet. Look. Three. NBA history, unlike you, man. But what position was he? A shooting guard. The reason why Sam asked what year was that, because Sam thought it was like a 60s or 70s yeah. player. That's what he thought. He, he thought this nigga played with Kareem. And then we proved it was in 83, the year, the, like the, the time where it was still defensive against Moses Malone and niggas like that. It's hard to defend now because. Yeah, it's hard to defend now. Yeah. Exactly. So but he was in an era of centers and was like regarded as the best defender in the world. Wait, hold on. And, and you know this shit. Like, even nowadays, like, guards don't win defensive player against centers besides Jordan and them niggas. That's the only niggas that, like, win, the, win them shits. Centers, literally yeah. centers lose. Like, them centers, like, 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 how are you going to win against centers averaging four blocks? And I think it was like 6'4". Like, yeah, it was against Mark Eaton and them niggas, too. Like, niggas get, like, four blocks or five blocks and shit. A game. He was a nice little defender. Nice little defender. Bro, yeah, like, he, bro, he, he was a lock that, and you could put up that he dropped buckets so you could look up his stats. It, his buckets probably the same as Jimmy. I think well, he bet, better, better. Did he have the same impact? Did he have the same impact? Wait, did, I'm pretty sure he had a better impact because the Bucks went to the finals, nigga. Oh, wait, hold no, on. No, no, no wait, no, 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 they went to Eastern Conference. I was thinking about um Kareem and them, but yeah, exactly. that's the Eastern Conference. The Sixers almost he has more defensive. Finals. Oh wait, and we also have more defensive teams. He's on number one is defensive Jimmy team. Done with his career yet? Bro, what is he in, like, his 10th year now? This, like, wait, how much more is he going to do, nigga? It's like four or five more years being this level of player. I'm dead. I wrap it up. All right, guys. It's been a fun podcast today. I'll let everyone see their outro before I give the final outro. All right, yo. That's, that's it. This nigga didn't even name himself. All right, yo. Nobody, nobody made it this far, bro. Nobody made it this far. That was yeah. Yeah. All right, yo, man. You it's your boy, you Mike. Know, no face, no case. We're ending it right now. Your daily host. And yeah. Right. I'm bringing on to Kendrick's intern. Nigga. All right, yeah. Um, it's Brandon, your boy. I'm out. Brandon with that soft-ass outro again. As always, it's been your real host, the one and only Greg Arthur Dennis. Please, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications and share this to all your friends. To like the probably ten niggas who've actually you know watched this podcast. <laughs> Yo, this is we out.